Well, there's uh, the new lid for the well, the well pump, and there's what's left of the old lid. That stuff's pretty heavy. But I think I'll take you on a tour of the backyard. Let me get my drink here. Okay. It's a cloudy day, so it's a good day to be showing you around. There's my van, kind of beat up, but it's paid for. There's the backyard I mowed yesterday and I edged most, most of it today. So it's looking somewhat presentable. This is the shed for the barn. This is what daddy built, I guess about 35 years ago. And uh, it's still in pretty good shape. So I'll take you inside. This is the barn, and this is the table. This is where I do most of my work. And uh, Daddy built this table, oh, a long time ago. He's got a couple of sawhorses down here, and he puts carpet on top of the sawhorses. And on top of that, it's a thick piece of wood, which has lasted for a pretty good time. I do a lot of hammering and sawing and whatever I have to do, you know, to put things together or tear things apart, so. This is my work area. Kind of messed it up right now, but I've got a project going on, so there's a lot of equipment scattered about. Well, let's see, let's start with the shelf. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a picture of Daddy. This picture came to me through the internet. The internet about oh, a couple of years ago, one of the POW wives had that photograph of Daddy and she sent it to me over the internet and I printed it out since, but it was just a little small picture and uh, it was daddy oh he was he was about 20 years old that was about 1940 uh, so he'd be 19 years old in 1940 but he was in China an embassy guard at Peking uh, then later it became Peiping now it's Beijing but anyhow he was in China at the embassy American embassy there and he was a radio operator also that was the second job as as an embassy guard so anyway, and then later on, the Japanese who were already there in uh, Peking, they, uh, after they bombed Pearl Harbor, they came over and captured the Americans and Daddy spent the whole war in POW camp. This is a letter from Daddy sent home. Uh, my Aunt Lottie gave me this uh, letter. And uh, anyway, you can see the address of my grandpa. At that time, he lived in Tennessee. And uh, I worked with a Japanese lady whose name was Miko, and she translated this for me. And it just says, uh, uh, prisoners of war, and here it is in French. Uh, prisoners of war, and there's daddy's address. He was in China. Later, he moved to, they moved him to Japan. Fortunately, he got there alive without being bombed by our own people because the Japanese did not uh, practice marking uh, American POWs prisoners of war on their ships so lots of times uh, our own allies our own airplanes would bomb and kill American POWs in transport but uh, daddy made it to Japan okay anyway this is a lot of his equipment plastic plumbing I like to label things and daddy liked to label things too but he saved a lot plastic rubber equipment uh, I understand PVC, but Daddy understood metal pipes. So he's got metal pipes here and hose clamps and door locks and brushes. We've saved pretty much everything, especially Daddy. Plumbing pipes and fittings, more metal. And the good thing is Daddy liked to save nuts and bolts and washers and screws and nails. So I don't have to run to the hardware store every time I need a screw or a nail or a bolt. And uh, rubber hoses, they don't last, they last a couple of years, as you know, but because, because plastic deteriorates. And there's sprinkler heads, I work on the sprinklers. Daddy put the sprinkler system in, but I'm the one who maintains it. And here's some of our painting equipment over here in the corner. You know, <laughs> and more metal. And clamps, you know, sometimes you gotta clamp things down. This is my air conditioner. I put that in a few years ago. 
it uh, doesn't really do a great job here because it gets pretty hot in uh, Texas in the summertime so I'm gonna have to insulate this place one day and there's daddy's old POW uh, license plates that he had on his truck and we, we got rid of the truck a couple of years ago and I kept the license plates and there's our old there's our address uh, there's the radio sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and this is daddy's tool you know he keeps little things well he kept little things in, in the uh, parts box and here's a close-up this is his obituary that appeared in the newspaper the Dallas Morning News and I've got this one uh, I've, I've got that one preserved with the uh, tape sometimes the radio sometimes the radio works we got well parts pump parts bicycle parts mower parts spare sockets the glue gun a paint gun that's all paint guns up here and it's really a splatter gun it's not much of a paint gun uh, I got a better paint gun over here that's one that's one I use with the air pump I painted my truck twice and I need to paint my van again it needs a paint job and various uh, there's nails mostly nails over here various uh, things for putting the car back together but we really don't need that anymore so you know a lot of this stuff's going out here's a table I had for recording books out here and here's some PVC pipe I put together to you know when I whenever I'm recording sometimes I come out here and record if I can get away from the television the television in the house goes and you can hear it all the way across uh, the house this is an evaporator unit you put water in here and it blows blows it out and here and it works a little bit not not really great but if it's directly on you it works okay I've got a few bicycles in here I need to clear these out but daddy's clamp I use this a lot whenever I'm working on something I got a hammer something and well this is a air pump and this is a uh, air canister when I want to fill up my tires and I paint I painted this window to keep people you know from looking in and this window over here I have this one boarded up I mean I can take this, those boards down it's all one piece I can take it down if I want to look you know but there's nothing but a fence out there anyway and this is another workbench it's, it's kind of cluttered uh, this grinder comes in handy a lot and a drill press and more parts more tools which we keep labeled can you hear the highway we're pretty close to the 183 highway the, the airport freeway I guess we're about oh I guess we're about three quarters of a mile away but you sure can hear that those uh, cars go at night various tools they come in handy I like to know where everything's at when I need it it helps to label things some hats daddy's hats and there's a few tires that he saved for lawnmowers and stuff like that and I guess they're still in pretty good shape I hope they'd be in good shape there's some files and stuff down here uh, electric saws electric drills his wheelbarrow this wheelbarrow is about rotted through I've got to get rid of that I've got to get a new one a bicycle to another bicycle this is his this is the, the uh, where we cut wood you know I need to whenever I need to take things something apart I will come out here and just saw it up and chunk it and well here's a failed experiment you see that copper hose wrapped around in the front of that uh, fan well I pumped ice water through here I had a little electric pump and it would pump ice water from a uh, bucket and uh, it would circulate in front of the fan and then it would circulate back into the bucket you know so the pump worked you know and this everything worked except it didn't cool you down like it said it would on the internet so that's a failed experiment and 
tools that he has all his everything labeled on the wall you know and I still use that today because you know if it works why why uh, fix it and I keep a few tools in here I bought this on my route for about $25 from a man and I keep a few things in there and this is the weed eater which I used this morning on the front yard front and backyard and so anyway and here's a, comf a chair a comfortable chair that I keep in here when I want to sit down and there's a workbench chair and here's a workbench chair so in case I have ever have any company and that's uh, pretty much the tour oh here's a bunch of wood daddy saved he put a bunch of wood up there and PVC pipes and fence this is fence uh, slats you know they may be all rotted through by now anyway he put that up there he was close to 80 years old when he put all that stuff up there so before he got down and sick he did an awful lot he did an awful lot of work he was just a working man you know and he still got things he still got things up there on the top of the shelf there or the middle part of the shelf there I don't know what they are because they deal with electricity and daddy was far ahead of me when it comes to electrical stuff and so and there's a bunch of stuff here saved that for fixing cars that even for cars we don't have anymore <laughs> and I still find things labeled by daddy every now and then a seal replacement or a replacement seal daddy writes this seal will need this seal is old is an old fluid master this seal is an old fluid master will need a new seal like this one when when installed well I don't think I'll be needing it this note this is daddy's handwriting and it's well over it's well over 15 years old I don't know how long it's been here but that seal's probably gone by now it's made of rubber rubber deteriorates I can't tell where he bought it from this is written 1994 so he may have bought it around that time that would be 24 years ago anyhow sometimes I can tell what store it comes from if it's got a sticker on it a uh, price tag these price tags will say what kind of what store it came from and sometimes the prices on there are pretty low compared to prices today but anyhow that's it now this area back here used to be garden this was all garden and after daddy passed away you know gardening was just not my thing so we just turned it back into a yard and planted trees because that way people across the ditch there won't be able to look into our the back of our house which I never did like but this this whole area was where daddy planted uh, tomatoes and potatoes and beans and everything and I got him that anvil one year I was in Arkansas went up there for desert storm and uh, a priest gave me that anvil I, I did a I did a favor for a priest up there and he asked me if I could ever if he could do anything for me and I said well if you happen to find an anvil laying around I sure could use one from my dad well he had he had a parishioner who had an anvil he put out the word and there it is and here's my lawnmower I got for about I guess about five years ago for 300 bucks uh, it's everything I wanted all the equipments on the outside you don't have to bend and twist to find out find things to put gas in to put air in the tires to put oil in it's it's all simple it's an old snapper and there's a push mower which I don't like to use and this is just more equipment that daddy saved there was a lot more of it back here believe me you know even glass which I don't care to have around but 
that he just likes to save things, you know. And that does come in handy, the wood especially. But I'll walk back here so you can see further. That's the back of the shed. And the neighbors put in a, a new fence, I guess about a week or two ago. I was glad to see that because I sure didn't want to work on that fence. And that's about it for now. So that's about the tour of the barn. Talk to you later. Bye.